Go ahead, talk. No, okay. Yeah. So it says one subunit of Excel Sports Company had the following financial results. Okay. So they want us to complete the performance evaluation uh, report for this subunit. So really, we're finding the variances. So we're going to take the actual, the difference between the actual and the flexible budget. To see how we varied, right? And with costs, these all look like costs, yeah, direct material. Di you want to try to come under budget if you can. Um, so in this case, we're over, right? So 28,000 minus 26,600. So this is unfavorable. If, you, if you're over, see, actual is more than flexible, then you're, uh -huh. you're unfavorable. Yeah, over. But in this case, we're under, right? We're under by 600, so that's favorable. Uh, this case, we're over again by, what is that, 3,300? Unfavorable. And then here, we're over again by 1,100, so that's unfavorable. Uh, depreciation, there's no... No variance, so let's see what it says. For zero, any zero variances, put a zero in the variance column. Uh, and then leave the F and U blank. So this one is exactly, it hit right on the budget, right? Yeah. Um, put zero. Yeah, zero. zero. Now this one were favorable by a thousand. Favorable. And then overall, we're f unfavorable by. What does it look like? 4,000, 4,300, wait. We'll see. Yeah, 700. So this is unfavorable because actual is more than budget. You went um, total to total. Total to total. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tally up the column here and it should check out with the 47. So I'll treat the unfavorables as positive, um, and then I'll subtract the favorables. And it looks like it checks out. You see how I did that? I did it so fast. Yeah. So going this way, you you gotta either pick one or the other. Yeah. The treat the either treat the unfavorable as negative or positive, but treat the favorable as opposite, right? And then when you do that, you accumulate that. It should be the same as the change in the overall. I think mine just calculation. Just mathematical, yeah. 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 And then I'll show you real quick how to get the percentages. Percentages is just the change, right, over the budget. Not the change, but the difference here, right? The variance the divided by the budget. So you guys probably do this at work, yeah? Huh? You gotta look at whether you met budget or not. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I but the, the budget, yes. computer probably calculates the. A lot of so we got a round to two decimal places. So I got 7.14%. And again, that's unfavorable. Let's see. Then we can just go down the list. I'll go 600 divided by. That's 4.41. Favorable. Um, this is 3,300 divided by 14.04, unfavorable, and then I got 1,100, this is 10%, yeah? should be. Oh no, it's not. Because there's only um, 
two ones. Nine point nine percent. That's unfavorable. This one there's nothing. Zero. This one is a thousand divided by so it's going to be less than 20%. 17.86%. That's favorable. And then this one does, you don't add this one. You wouldn't, it's not going to check out that way. So you just get the overall percentage. So I'll take four, 47. Yeah, take 47 divided by 105, 400. Sometimes this thing doesn't like the way we round. 4.46 overall unfavorable yeah it says one or more of the percentages you have calculated are incorrect think carefully about which amount you are calculating the variance as a percentage of check your calculations carefully and enter the amount as a percent to two decimal places let's see I thought I had it here. That would be point four point four six. Unless they want me to show neg I don't think they want me to show negatives. Real quickly. Seventeen point eight six. Nine point nine one. That's where we made the mistake. You see right here, this one. Okay. That zero should round up to one. So, so nine point nine one. Got it. I need to round up. Yeah, you gotta round up. We got it. Okay. So uh, a mental error. Okay. What type of responsibility center is this? Well, the responsibility center it goes. You can be a cost center where you're only responsible for managing costs um, you can be a profit center where you have revenue and cost um, and then you can be an investment center where it's kind of like you're you're a division in the company but you're your own standalone company right so I think this let's just look at these are all cost right so I'm gonna call it a cost center there, I don't see any revenue same thing, yeah. yeah. So a lot of times you'll see the revenue centers or the profit centers, they get treated a little nicer when it shouldn't be that way. But if you're just a cost center, then you're always trying to justify your existence. A lot of times, I shouldn't say that. I mean, more modern companies might not be that way, but it's kind of like, well, you're not bringing in money. Why do we need you yeah. kind of attitude, yeah. But it's necessary. The, they wouldn't have those jobs if uh, it's not necessary. Which items should be investigated if part of management's decision criteria is to investigate all variances exceeding 2,500 or 10%? So I would investigate the indirect labor and The repair and maintenance. Even though the repair and maintenance is favorable, you still want to look into it. Um, there's nothing over 2,500 aside from that. So that will say indirect labor and repair and maintenance. If those are the criteria. Okay. Oh. Okay, they gave me the criteria. Which item should be investigated if part of management's decision criteria is to investigate all variances exceeding 2,500 or 10%? Uh, unless they don't want me to investigate the favorable, but I still would. Let's see if we can make this work. Uh, so I guess the two things that 
we could do is we could either include the 9.91% because it's close to 10% or take out the repair and maintenance. I'm going to take out the repair and maintenance. Oh, you know, we made a mistake. That's all it is. It's indirect labor. I put in direct labor. Okay. So we should be okay. I meant to put in indirect labor because it's 14.04%. And I guess we clicked direct labor by accident. <coughs> See, because that's 14.4. It's indirect labor. It's oh, yeah, wait. Indirect labor. And then for me, it's repair and maintenance. If, because so look at not necessarily all of these un no favorables. Just the things that come within the scope. So they're saying any of the unfavorables that are twenty five hundred yeah. are ten percent. Uh, any of the variances, not just the unfavorables. Any anything that is tw twenty five hundred are ten percent. So otherwise, it's kind of they they're considering the other ones immaterial not worth the time yeah. should only the unfavorable no we should investigate all yeah favorable variances should be investigated too i think the fourth one yeah cuz sometimes those things can reverse themselves Wait, I'll, you need to look at the, any other part of it? No. I'm going to save it then. I'll 